Terra Viva, a checkup on the environment. My idea of sustainability is encouraging young people to connect more with the clothing that they own, the clothing that they wear and the clothing that they want to change. Basically, I'm focused on the reuse and the recycled phase in the fashion field. My project uh, stems from an energy saving point of view in the home. Um, so it stems a little bit from, like it's apart from, you know, different systems of production systems, thinking mass production, things like that within the fashion system. Creativity, research, education and business. All these things are coming together for sustainable change in the fashion industry. At the London College of Fashion, it's not only a question of imagination. In 2008, the school launched the Centre for Sustainable Fashion to question the fashion status quo, pioneering a new provocative way of making fashion designing solutions that balance environment, society and business. It isn't a product or a piece of clothing or a dress that is or isn't sustainable. It's how it's made, how it's worn, how it's looked after, what happens to it when you've finished with it. The, that's what makes it sustainable or not. We look at materials, we look at the processes, so you think about production methods, you think about the people involved. So if the designer at the very beginning thinks about how something is going to be washed or how something is going to be cared for, or all of these things are actually new business opportunities as well. Science plays a key role in sustainable fashion, from research into new materials to minimising waste. Using body scan data is an example. Professor Sandy Black launched the Knit to Fit concept. Personal measurements, taken by a 3D body scanner, are put through an automated knitting machine to produce customised clothes. A method, she says, that has a real potential to reduce waste in the clothing supply chain. fashion it's very wasteful it's endemically wasteful and a lot is made speculatively so we're really trying to reduce first of all the amount that's made that what's made is made because people want it so that there is less product and then the product process is also really much more sustainable because um, it uh, is a one-step process cutting-edge technologies but also a tried and trusted method to be more eco-friendly recycling Exactly. It's about upcycling. It's about adding value to an item of clothing through creativity and using our clothing to be inspired to make it in something else. Thinking of clothes in phases, not as just a scissored pair of jeans and then I have to chuck it because it's broken, but it's a pair of jeans and then a jacket and then a skirt. Upcycling is not just a noble idea. Ross Barry founded an eco-concept store in East London using old clothes people throw away as stock material. Designers and students from the Fashion College do the rest. These trousers were designed by a fashion student who specialised in tailoring and they found that if they took apart a men's jacket they could re-pattern cut it to make a pair of trousers. Um, we've also got some other trousers that which were actually made out of old t-shirts so each of these panels is the, from the back of a t-shirt that have been screen printed and then reassembled together to make a pair of leggings. Re-exploring fashion in a sustainable way, a new thread that can stand the test of time.